I was doing the math in my head uh, back there, thinking about when I first met Billy. I really, it was, this, it was this, the uh, 1994. I was in college, and I, I booked the acoustic music on campus. <laughs> Billy came up and played, and uh, for months after seeing him play, uh, I remember going back and putting his Inhale Pink CD on, and. Um, practicing, trying to practice Helm's Place very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Working on uh, that technique. But um, that, that technique aside, I have to say that um, I think one of the other great things that I learned from Billy um, was that melody is king. And um, you know it when you, when you hear Billy's music. And uh, it's uh, unmistakable. And um, so I'm really grateful for that. So I want to do a song that uh, normally this is the part if somebody invites me up to play, I get to do some two-hand tapping, and people are like, I've never seen that before. Um, so you've seen it. You know it. Um, and so this is kind of my homage to uh, to Billy. Things uh, to just commemorate one of the other great things I've learned from him. And um, on top of that, a technique aside, I learned you have to be creative with titling your songs. You know, naming it after leaving a bar or a venue. Um, things like that. Um, this is a song that was, uh, for me, I, I drew from another place of inspiration, uh, one of my favorite books of all time, The Hobbit. Anyone else like, like that book? Oh, yeah. So this is a song called There and Back Again, which is the subtitle to The Hobbit. And uh, There and Back Again from the Brink uh, could be maybe in parentheses. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,